And the Indiana football team had its final two games of the regular season canceled due to a rising number of positive COVID-19 cases. But as Pat Bean reports, the Hoosier season is not over. This season has been a strange one for Indiana football, but that was to be expected in the middle of a pandemic. After initially canceling the entire season due to COVID-19, the Big Ten settled on a nine-game, conference-only schedule that began almost two months late. Opportunity number one, 2020 season begins. Indiana made it through its first seven games, going six and one and earning the number seven ranking in the country, its highest in more than 50 years. But last week, the virus infiltrated the program. Indiana recorded 28 positive COVID-19 cases and was forced to cancel its annual game against Purdue for a second straight week. It's kind of par for the course for, for 2020. You know, it's been a, a series of things that have happened that, that nobody really wanted to happen and things get canceled and that you look forward to. And, and then when it, but it, it was the, the fact that it was canceled and then rescheduled and then canceled again, is just kind of like double whammy. And while the rivals will not play for the first time since 1919, it's not the end of the season for the Hoosiers. Indiana is expected to receive a bid to a New Year's Six Bowl, one of the six bowl games that make up the bowl championship series. And that's something that hasn't happened since 1967, when Indiana played Southern Cal in the Rose Bowl. Massive opportunity for us uh, at, our, at our fingertips. And, but any, any bowl opportunity for us is going to be huge, and we haven't won a bowl game here in a long, long time. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Pat Bean. Several bowl projections have Indiana playing Southern California in the Fiesta Bowl on January 2nd. The bowl pairings will be announced this Sunday. And, Joe, wherever Indiana ends up playing in a bowl, regardless, it's been a remarkable season for the Hoosiers. It sure has. Ethan, thank you very much.